again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today I'm going to show how to, if you find a picture on the internet, I actually found this on Facebook, someone did, and instead of, you know, asking him for the file, I thought, I'm just going to draw it. Uh, he took some time drawing it. It's a really neat uh, pig that says barbecue on it. But anyway, you take your picture, you import it in. And then you go up to bitmap and you can vert the bitmap. And a lot of times I'm going to do black and white, but this time I thought I'm going to try grayscale and it worked. So there's my grayscale image. So then you would go up to bitmap. And I used a detailed logo on this one and it seemed to work pretty well. You can play with these six different ones. Uh, normally if it's clip art, I use clip art, but this time I thought I'd try this. And then this is what you get. It, it, it actually is going to be on top after you're done. So just move it out of the way. We'll zoom in here. And there's a couple of ways to do this. One is just ungroup, ungroup it. And then just start deleting these pieces you don't want. And I said there's another way to do this. And what that would be would be to grab the objects you want, you know, all of them and, and move them out of the way and it might save you a little bit of time but I found I just like deleting so just click on them hit your delete key get rid of all this garbage that you don't need now in this case you uh, because this picture was on a board you're gonna get some uh, and that's all connected but these fragile uh, little fringe areas you can get rid of that's about all you can do. Then we're going to take this one and we're going to take and get our shape tool and we're just going to start del deleting these lines that are in the board. Now this is going to take you some time. Um, you know, it's not all that easy. Um, Tell you what, let's do this. Let's take out the feel. Add a red hairline. So I left click feel, right click. And then you're just going to have to zoom in and start deleting these nodes. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, and when you get to a part like this where it's just a bunch of big circles, Sometimes it'll delete, and then you just go and connect those two nodes back. Now, when I was doing this, I, there's a couple of uh, problems, areas, and one of them is right here. These two things are connected. So to get rid of those nodes is kind of hard, but if you'll take your two-point line and just d draw a line between there and there, you know, well, let's redo that one. Just draw a line from that node to that node. Then you can take your virtual segment delete key and delete those two lines. So you, you've got these two items separated. Then you would just go through and you know delete all those nodes that you don't need. And then, yes, it takes some time, and you're going to find some nodes like that. But just grab that node and just bring it back over. You know, go through here and... Now you can see in this one, these three, these three objects are connected somehow when you're using the shape tool. So what you have to do is go up to arrange, break curve apart, and now they're individual items. Well, they're still kind of connected, but because you've got them connected right here. So you would go back and do the same thing with these two. You need to get rid of those lines. And you could probably do this. You could probably bring that node down to there and that node down to there and then use your virtual segment delete key and do that instead of adding a line. And as you can see, I had a double line there. So, well, what it is is just the nodes are overlapping. So you want to get them and straighten out that node.
and that's all it takes. Now it's going to take some time. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's not going to take some time. This is going to be a little more difficult, but you're going to, you know, delete some lines there that you don't need, you know, besides deleting the nodes, delete the lines. And then your, your best way to test if you, if your nodes are complete is to color fill each piece. And it's always a good thing to do this and kind of look sand back and you can really see the barbecue now. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.